5.5 kilos now, 20 days after. So he's quite big though. I'm the first trans woman of Thailand who actually set up the company and would be able to get it listed in the stock market. A lot of media also internationally call me the first trans woman billionaire of Asia. So, you know, I'm quite proud on what I do, but I struggle a lot also. I always know that I'm a woman since I was five years old. I'm always a woman. Five. I'm always the little girl. And, um, but it's a heartbreaking moment for me because when I go back home every time after school, um, I lock myself into the bedroom and I look into the mirror and I see the girl in the mirror and I cry all the time. Most people in Asia think that, you know, trans women, they are just makeup artists, dancer, hairdresser, even worse, a lot of them said, okay, they are prostitute. Prostitute, big time. Big P, prostitute, okay. We have brain, come on people. I always would love to have children, I love children. When I was very young, I always see baby and I always go and would love to hold them all the time. So I thought to myself, okay, I'm a trans woman. So how can I have my very own family? So that's why I planned myself very well. Uh, after I did the IPO, I mean, you know, listing the company in the stock market. One month later, I flew over here to the United States in LA, Los Angeles. And then um, I did sperm bank here. And one surprise, uh, you know, quite surprising moment for everyone is that they uh, started to know that I did, I never took hormone until the age of 39 because I believe in myself so much that I will have the family, I will have the children of my own one day. So I better keep the best quality sperm in myself. I chose my egg donor and she's German. But it's, it's not about being German. It's about being her, um, herself, actually, her record, her profile. For me, I would love my children to be mixed. I don't want them to be Asian-Asian because I'm outside the box person. I will put my children first, work second, finger crossed, <laughs> hopefully. Because I'm the workaholic person, I'm very workaholic person, and uh, I just would love them to appreciate and admire on what I do too. But of course, you know, I have my mother, who is the grandmother to them, look after. Three ounces. Wow, he eats a lot. My mother and I, we both are single moms. Yeah. <laughs> She divorced my dad a long time ago. And, um, you know, I always look up uh, on her. She's uh, my inspiration. It's wonderful, first of all, because I was Andrew before. And I named my son Andrew because he was conceived on the same day that I had a gender reassignment operation. It means that I passed my male identity to him. I pass myself, my Andrewness, to him. So he's my next me, you know, second me. He's gonna be me, but in male version. <laughs> Being the trans woman would make me the better mother because I can tell my Andrew not to discriminate the differences in the society, to understand and to respect people who are different and honor them, help them, feel them. I will tell my children that I was a man before. Mommy was a man before. And don't forget to tell all your friends 
whether or not they can accept or not. You know, they sometimes have to take time, but you are special. Tell them that you are special, and lift them up to the understanding also that love comes first. Love is very important. You have the special parents, so be proud.